This video will demonstrate the proper procedure for setting up and using the Kato Hex electric insulation tool. Let's begin by reviewing each component. This is the transformer. In the back you'll find the connection for the power cord. Turning the transformer to the front, plug the electric driver cable here. Turn the cable so that the white indicator dot is facing up. This will be the proper orientation. Turn the knurled collar to secure the cable in place. To the right, there is an on-off switch with a light indicator just above it. Next to that, you'll find the high-low switch. Please note that for all installation of coil thread inserts, always use the low setting. The next component is the KFS-12 electric driver. Plug the cable that leads to the transformer in the back. Once again, the white dot will indicate proper orientation. Turn the knurled collar to secure the cable. Here you have the trigger, and on the back there is a switch for forward and reverse. Even though this is an automatic reversing tool, in case you ever need to use the manual reverse, here is the switch. Towards the front you will find the torque adjusting nut. It controls how much torque is applied before the driver automatically reverses. You simply pull back on the sleeve and turn it clockwise to tighten and counterclockwise to loosen. Please note, the nut will lock into place every half a turn or 180 degrees. At the tip of the tool, you will find the quick disconnect sleeve. To insert the mandrel, pull back on the sleeve, slide the hex-shaped mandrel into the slot, and release the sleeve. This will lock the mandrel in place. The Kato KFS-12 electric driver will install coil thread inserts from sizes 256 to 3816 and M2 to M12. To allow for this broad range of sizes, the KFS-12 electric driver includes two torque limiting springs. The spring is located beneath the torque adjusting nut. Use the blue spring for smaller sizes and the black spring for larger sizes. To install the appropriate spring, remove the torque adjusting nut by turning it counterclockwise. Slide the appropriate spring over the quick disconnect sleeve and reconnect the torque adjusting nut. The final component is the installation mandrel assembly. This is the part you'll swap out for insert types and different thread sizes. The Kato Hex electric tool can install both tangless and tanged inserts. Here we have two different mandrels. This one is for tangless and this one is for tanged. Here is the adjusting sleeve that will control the installation depth. Use the lock nut to tighten the adjusting sleeve. The tang tool also has an adjusting sleeve and lock nut. Although they look different, they function the same. Inside the tangless mandrel is the spring-loaded pivoting ball. This is the part that will grab the insert and drive it into the STI tapped hole. The tang mandrel has a drive contour that will grab hold of the tang and drive the insert in the SCI tapped hole. On the back here we have a standard quarter inch hex. Now we'll demonstrate how to set the correct installation depth using the tangless installation mandrel. The procedure is the same for tanged. Thread the insert all the way onto the mandrel until it stops. Next, turn the adjusting sleeve until it is about one thread behind the last coil and then tighten the lock nut using the wrenches that are included with the tangless tool. Now that the depth is set, we're ready to install some inserts. With the insulation mandrel and the electric driver, hold the tool perpendicular to the hole so that it is straight and avoid holding it at an angle. This could cause the installation to fail and may damage the installation mandrel. Always use the minimum amount of torque that will install the insert. Begin with a very low torque setting. This will cause the driver to automatically reverse before the insert fully installs. Press the trigger to activate the electric driver. Note the insert started to enter the hole, but the driver reversed automatically because the torque wasn't enough. Turn the torque nut 180 degrees or half a turn and try again. Repeat this process until the insert fully installs. It is very important to remember this is an auto-reversing tool. Once you press the trigger, do not release it. After the insert is installed, the mandrel will bottom out and cause the electric driver to reverse. Continue to hold the trigger until the mandrel exits the installed insert completely. 
Releasing the trigger will reset the tool, and pressing the trigger again will cause the tool to turn clockwise. If you accidentally release the trigger early, simply press it again and the tool will re-enter the installed insert, bottom out, and reverse. Alternatively, you can flip the forward reverse button on the driver to the reverse position, but be sure to flip the button back to the forward position before attempting to install the next insert. With the torque and depth adjusted correctly, we'll install some more inserts. Please note, due to the variations in the tapped holes, it may be necessary to increase the torque once more during production use. As you can see, the Kato Hex electric tool is very fast and will greatly increase productivity when compared to manual installation. It's quiet, clean, easy to set up, and easy to use. It's a great option for medium to high volume users and it's only available from Kato. Thank you for watching the Kato Hex Electric Tool video.